This works like magic. Manifest your specific person in one hour. Namaste, my friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. I'd like to thank you for stopping by to manifest with me today. In this video, I wanna share with you a success story, a testimonial that happened with one of the people that I've been working with in my coaching program. Uh, something to where they manifested their specific person in an hour's time, literally uh, manifested contact from that specific person when there was really no logical way for it to occur or should have occurred. I still did anyway uh, using this technique uh, that, that she used. So I wanna share that with you, kind of the backstory on what happened. So if you're looking to manifest contact from your specific person or manifest someone into your life, you can use this technique as well and I'm sure you're gonna get some really, really fast Results. Before we get started though, I am still giving away my free manifestation cheat sheet as a PDF file giving 37 of my very best manifestation tips and techniques for you to use in your everyday life. If you are interested, there's a link in the top of the description box below. Click it, download it, it's absolutely free. Okay, so this lady I was working with, she was trying very hard to manifest um, her specific person. This person she knew, but she really liked him and she wanted to create this relationship with him. And there was one point where she approached him and asked if he'd be interested and he showed little interest and in actually wanting to be, you know, in a relationship. And he said, you know, thanks anyway, let's continue to be friends. Well, after that point, when she asked him, things got kind of awkward. He got a little bit distant. And so even though occasionally they might see each other because they kind of shared the same group of friends, he hardly spoke to her or it was very brief. So things were just in this kind of uneasy place. And so she was telling me about all this that took place. And she just kind of told me, you know, I feel like giving up. I feel like giving up. I think I should just give up. I, I'm, I'm not seeing how I can get the results. Um, it's feeling very awkward. I just don't think I can do it. And I remember this quote and I, sh and I shared it with her. It's a Neville quote. I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you because this is exactly what I shared with her. When you know what you want, you do not ask God as though he were another. You ask your individual self to bring about your desire for you are he. And God, your own wonderful human imagination, will respond when you will not take no for an answer. And it was really that last line that I really emphasized. You will get a response. You will get results when you will not take no for an answer. It's hard, right? We're doing the manifestation techniques. We're trying to convince our subconscious mind of something, but we look out and we don't see what we want. We look out, we don't see what we want. And so it's very hard. We can easily say, no, this is not working. No, this, is, this isn't it. No, I can't do this. But Neville says, you will get your results when you do not take no for an answer. So no matter how hard this is, do not take no for an answer. And we talked about that. You will see the results as soon as you refuse the answer no. As soon as you refuse it. So she said, okay. So she said they went out with a group of friends again and he was part of that group of friends. And again, the whole night they went out to dinner somewhere. He didn't speak to her hardly at all. He pretty much ignored her the whole night. It wasn't going well. She said she felt bad, she felt horrible, she felt worthless, all these things. But she kept remembering that little thing in her head. Do not take no for an answer. Do not take no for an answer. So even though the results were not showing on the outside, she kept speaking to herself. No, he loves me. He's got the biggest crush on me. It's all good. He'll, he'll tell me, he'll talk to me, it'll happen. He's got a burning desire to be with me. She just kept saying that all throughout the night, all throughout the night to herself. Then she said after the dinner was over with, she went home, everybody went home, and she went home and she got out a journal and she wrote in her journal what my specific person is thinking. And she just wrote down a list of things. Again, continued to list. What are the things he thinks about me? I love her so much. I wanna be there for her. I want a life with her. I want a relationship with her. I want to take our friendship to the next level. All these things she wrote down and she read through those and she felt it. She felt it. She felt it. She felt it. That is what he's feeling now. That is what he's thinking now. And she finished up. She did it. She said she felt so satisfied. She sat down. She literally turned on the TV and within like 45 minutes, her phone started ringing. It was him. He called her and apologized and said, I'm sorry I've been ignoring you. I'm sorry I've been distant, but the truth is I've had a hard time understanding my own feelings, but now after tonight, I really truly understand I do love you. I do want to be more than friends. I do want to be with you. The exact stuff that she had written down in here, that she was thinking in here, that she kept affirming, that she kept taking no for an answer, and she kept affirming what she wanted, that's exactly what he said to her. That is exactly what he said to her. He called her and told her the truth. I love you. I want to be with you. This can happen very fast when you do not take no for an answer. That's so important. It's easy to take no for an answer, but if you stick to your faith, 
if you stick to your end result, if you trust that you are the master creator of your reality, if you trust that idea, and you don't care what you see out here because you know what the truth is in here, you will manifest anything you want. You will manifest what you want fast. This took under an hour for her to do this. You can do this too. And under the circumstances, she was just rejected by him a few minutes prior. But she stuck to this idea. She stuck to not taking no for an answer. She stuck to her truth. She stuck to what she wanted the answer to be. And she got the reality that she desired, she wanted. This is magical, but this is how it works. This is how the power that you have works, the power of your subconscious mind, the power that you have in creating your reality. Don't take no for an answer. Don't let the 3D persuade you away from what you want. Go back in here, create, create, create. Affirm, affirm, affirm. Play, 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 play. And when you trust that, when you have faith in that, your desire will come. Your specific person will come into your life guaranteed. For a powerful way to get your specific person to reach out to you, whether that's phone call, text message, email, social media, be sure to check out this video next.